travel would be like through the roof. All right. So it's important to set up lapels, okay, before you're doing anything. So I have this one here. I'm giving them a little bit of business right here. I can always adjust it here. Okay. What I want to do is I'm on my right hip. I'm on my left hip. Right hip. Left hip. I got my left hip, and I'm going to pull out his right lapel. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed it right here and hand it off to my hand right here. Okay. Did it, you shouldn't really notice it. And then I go back to the underhook. I'm gonna push myself up, slide my right knee into his ribs, lift, my hand grabs, and connects it with his neck. And I'm gonna pull the left into the fist. I just make a fist into the neck, and I'm gonna pull him into the fist. I'm not pushing the fist into the neck. Okay? I could. But it's a lot less effective than pull. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got way more torque this way than I do this way. What's my arm messed up? <laughs> okay. So, how do I get this? Here, yeah, I'm giving him business. Look, right here. Yeah, he's right here. I roll this way here, giving him the business. I see his left, his right lapel right here. I'm gonna. Punch it right here and switch and hand off. Okay. So I'm holding this one here and I go and I got that one. From here, back to the underhook, drive forward mm -hmm, into his side and lift up. And it's real simple. For those of you who just want to play with the mechanics of it, Take out his near lapel, feed it under, post up your left foot. Right hand, Jason calls this a big choke. I call this the warm hat because it just makes sense because it's awful warm. Work. So here, I touch my wrist and I pull into the fist. So for those of you who are a little more on the beginner side, get the near lapel, this is the near, that's the far. Feed it to your left hand, your right hand grabs, punches, and pulls. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Practice the mechanics of it first and then the setup.